Hi, this is Jeff Berry, and welcome to the Nature Calling Channel, where we aim to deepen connection to the earth and to the spirit of life and to all our kin on this beautiful planet. So holding your palms out towards the sun, what we really want to do is reconnect with this primal source of light and heat. The things that have actually brought life into animation on this planet. So we're opening our eyes to the sun. We're opening our hands to the sun. We're opening our hearts to the sun. opening anything in our bodies and minds that can sense this spirit of life coming over the horizon and warming us back up. You and <clears throat> excuse me, the Yuan people on the country I live will will welcome the son as grandfather. But for me that's that's not my culture. So I I just try and make sure I welcome it with that same sense of kinship and an ancestral love. I'm knowing that I'm not even alive without this, let alone anything else I have. So just find whatever language or term works for you um, and silently say, welcome and thank you to the sun. Good morning, sun. Sol, Helios, Ra, Surya. Thank you for bringing light back to our planet, to our world. Thank you for bringing light and life and warmth. And then again, for yourselves, just give thanks for what's most important to you. Possessions that make me comfortable, my food. And then I like to say thank you for, for being awakened. Again, starting with the basic physical fact, I like to say thank you for waking me up out of the night, out of the slumber, so that I can have another day on this beautiful planet. And then if you like, I like to, to then say thank you also just for consciousness. Because in so many mythologies, the sun and, and then the stars at night, which of course are exactly the same, are the sun. They're actually a, a part of a, a, an animistic or pan-psychic way that the whole universe is, is alive and conscious as well. So if you believe in that, you can just say thank you to the sun for raising consciousness in the world. And if you don't, you just stick with how it draws you up. Again, metaphorically, symbolically, drawing us up from darkness to light, enlightening us, literally in terms of our own personal consciousness. And 
And then you can bring your awareness to your body. Bring your awareness to any place in your body that is not entirely comfortable, anything not at ease, in pain or ache. Or just somewhere that needs a bit of loving. And again, hold that awareness in your hands. That is the sunlight radiating down towards you. You're catching that in your open hands. Let your hands feel the radiation, the vibration, the hum of the sun, and then place them on that part of your body. Draw that sun power into wherever you need to feel it. And feel into that, but I invite you also Especially if you've just got a glimmer of the sun through the trees like I have. To, tr to try and allow yourself to look as closely as you can. Don't harm your eyes. But keep open to that physical radiance. So different here, I'm usually watching it over the ocean. It's a real full orb, unless it's cloudy. But through the forest, I'm seeing the sparkles of light radiating out around the trees. I'm just sensing myself being touched by those celestial rays that bring life. And then if you're comfortable doing so, you can hug. Definitely um, Uncle Max and, and the Ewan people that taught me this, they make sure everyone gets to hug everyone. It's a really nice way of, of making it social too. Lock, locking it into just us being people. For them, so many of the, so many rituals I've come across are actually really simple. It's actually about focusing awareness and giving thanks. It's rarely some highly complicated ritual process. And the more often you do that, the more often you can start to feel connected to the natural light that gives us light. Pull us back to that natural cycle every day. Uh, I was really thankful that um, Bag asked last night about the moon. It's another side of it. But this is one you can, you can, you know, you can do that's really steady and constant in your life. So yeah, if you're comfortable with a hug, give a hug. <laughs> Thanks for watching and please consider liking this video and if you want more content like this subscribe and the nature calling bell will toll for you. This is Jeff signing off.